Hi everybody. I wanted to do a video on how I typically varnish a painting. Uh, when I varnish my work, I am typically using uh, Natural Pigments or Rublev's Conservar, um, this Regal Res 1094 varnish kit. I used to use Gamvar uh, exclusively. However, I have found that Conservar for my work actually covers a little bit better. So I've switched over to Conservar. Um, both Gamvar and Conservar are, uh, that I'm aware of, synthetic uh, varnishes. And that means that you uh, supposedly can put them on your paintings a little bit earlier than six months. However, they still recommend uh, varnishing after letting your painting dry for quite a bit. So uh, the work I'm going to be varnishing today has actually been drying for quite a while. I'd say at least a month or so. So I feel pretty confident about varnishing this. So usually what I like to have on hand are gloves. You do not wanna be getting varnish on your hands uh, because it's really annoying. Uh, the Conservar kit comes as a kit um, and I will show you how to get that started. Although I do still, I already have a little bit mixed up already. My painting that's ready to be varnished. A, I like to have a, a lint-free rag on hand. Uh, paper towels is also good. Uh, I like to use a clear glass container um, if, I'm use, if I'm doing a lot of varnishing and a soft brush, a soft-ish brush completely dedicated to varnishing. So I do not paint with this. This is dedicated to varnish. It's a little, it's actually stiff right now because it has varnish in the brushes. However, once I put this into the varnish, it actually will reactivate it. Um, Conservar and Gamvar can both be removed with uh, mineral spirits or solvents. So um, the uh, Conservar and Gamvar both have solvents mixed into the varnish. So when I reactivate um, the varnish on the brush, it'll loosen up the, the brushes, the hairs. So normally when I get this kit, you have to do this like a couple days ahead of time uh, because you um, have to actually let the crystals dissolve in the solvent. So it comes with this little UV thing that you add after everything's dissolved with the little pipette. Um, this comes with mineral spirits so that you can see that you are able to um, use that for to dissolve the actual uh, resin crystals. So this is what it comes with. So a couple days ahead of time I will open this up you're going to put all the solvent in here. Dump it all in. Then close this up. And then shake, shake, shake. So you shake it as much as you can. Then you and get it really dissolved in there. It's not going to completely dissolve right away. Um, you put this aside for a day or two, and when you come back, it should be completely dissolved. And then when that happens, you can add the UV stabilizer with the pipette and mix that, and then you're ready to go. They say you're supposed to use this within 30 days of opening it. However, um, I use it well past that. Um, I guess I live a rebellious life. Okay, so... When I do go to varnish, so now I do, I do still have some mixed up and hopefully this will be enough to reactivate my brush. So I always, again, use gloves for this. And um, if I'm varnishing a lot of paintings, I'll usually put some in here, uh, but because I'm only varnishing this one painting for this example. So you can see here that my painting is actually quite matte, meaning it's not glossy. And the true colors are a little bit difficult to see because it's a little matte. And so the varnish is gonna take care of this. So I do not pour this onto the painting, okay? So if I, I don't want to, um, and actually Gamblin has a wonderful video on their website which uh, demonstrates uh, the way that they prefer people to um, work with their varnish. Uh, your goal is actually to be putting the most, um, the thinnest possible layer down. As you can see, this is a little stiff, but as I kind of work it, it'll loosen up those brushes. Um, you're not trying to dump a whole bunch of, of varnish on here. 
we're trying to get a pretty thin layer. So again, if you have a lot of varnish in your brush, it's gonna take a minute to loosen up. So you can see it's starting to loosen up a little bit once the solvent really gets in there and reactivates that varnish. All right, so once you have some varnish in your brush, this is way more than I need for this. But what I usually do is I'm trying to get, you know, not a sopping amount of varnish on here. I want it to fill the brush, but I don't want it to be totally sopping and dripping. So once I do that, I'm actually going to uh, apply it by um, putting some down and then pushing forward. So this is actually, I think, too much to have in my brush. So I'm going to be getting a little bit more out of that. So you can see it start, it's, it's pooling up just a little bit. Let's see if you can see that. Okay, so I don't want too much. That seems like a little too much. So what I'm gonna be doing is taking this and pushing it forward. My goal is to get a thin layer down without, without it being glopped on. And I'll do this until I feel like it's stretching a little thin. So this will stay open, meaning still liquid and fluid for a couple minutes, but it will start to tack up. So if I'm doing a large, large painting, I will typically wanna make sure I get this evened out um, pretty quickly. So um, I can already see I'm getting a few. So this is why I like the paper towels is like if there's hairs or lint in it, this is the time to get it out. And the way that I do that is I'll take the brush and I'll I'll take that piece of lint and I'll try to scoop it up and then wipe it off on the paper towel or find a hair and try to scoop it off. So again, I'm trying to make sure I don't leave any dust or hairs in the painting. So once it looks pretty even, you wanna make sure you don't miss any spots. You can see now there's a nice even layer of varnish. It's not pooled up anywhere and very even and it's pretty thin. This will take, I like to let this uh, sit and dry for about a day. It will be tacky in a couple minutes, which is why it's important to get dust and um, hairs out of this before then. Okay, so that is varnishing a painting.